Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how to add and trigger load animations in Protopie. So let's begin. Okay, so let's start in shape.so and I will select this animation and then I will hit download. Then let's go to Protopie and from there let's create a new pie. By default I will have the iPhone 11 Pro and I will zoom out the canvas just a little bit. Now let's add our Lottie animation. So let's click on media and from there let's choose Lottie. Then let's choose our JSON file and let's click on open. Now that we have our Lottie animation in the canvas we need to resize it a little bit. So let's go to size and let's type on width 603. Then let's go to position and on the x-axis let's type 114 and on the y-axis let's type 156. Okay perfect. Now let's add some background to the iPhone. So let's go to shape and from there let's choose rectangle. Then let's resize the rectangle just like this and let's put the background layer under the Lottie layer. Now let's go to the layer settings panel and from there let's change its color. I already have a color in mind so I will just paste the hexadecimal code. Now we need to create a button. Let's click on the shape tab and from there let's choose rectangle. Now let's put the new rectangle over the Lottie layer. Now we need to resize this button. So let's go to size and let's type 146 for width. Then for height, let's change it to 48. Now let's change the anchor point for the button. So let's go to origin and click the square in the middle. Okay, perfect. Let's go to radius and let's give it 10 pixels. Then let's change its position. So in the X axis, let's type 188 and on the y-axis let's type 625. Finally let's change its color. So let's go to fill and over there I will paste a color code that I was already testing. Now let's add some text to the bottom. So I will click on text and over there I will select text. Then I will place the text near to the bottom and we will use San Francisco Pro Display. Then I will choose bold and 20 pixels. Then I will change its color to white. I will write over there animate. Okay, perfect. And I will change its size to 83. And we also need to change its anchor point. So let's click on the square in the middle. Finally, let's align the text to the center. Okay, perfect. Now, let's add some shadow to the bottom. And let's check the shadow box. Then on colors, we can paste this color and we can change the fill from 50 to 70. Then change the blur to 15. Finally, let's change to 4 on the Y axis. Okay, perfect. Now let's select the bottom and text and let's group them. So I will choose group layers with container. Now let's add some actions to the bottom. So let's select container 1 and let's go to add trigger. Then select tab and over there let's click on the plus icon. Then choose playback. Inside playback, you can click on the drop down and you can select the Lottie animation. Click on the plus icon again and you can select color. On color, you can select the rectangle too, which is our button. And we can change its color to this new one. Then go to fill and type 100. Now let's check the shadow box and on fill, let's type 0. Okay, perfect. Now we want to change the color of the text as well. To do so, Let's click on the plus icon and then let's choose color. Then let's click on the drop down and let's select text. On color, let's click over there and let's change black for this other color. Okay, nice. Then go to fill and type 100. Now we need to change the scale of the bottom. To do so, let's click on the plus icon and over there let's choose a scale. On the drop down, let's select container 1. To scale by, let's choose factor so we can change just the percentage and on size let's put 95 for the x-axis and 95 for the y-axis okay perfect now let's select container and let's change its anchor point and make sure to click on the square in the middle okay perfect then we need to add some reset so let's click on the plus icon and choose reset over there let's go to start delay and let's type 6 because it's the duration of our animation Let's add another reset and in this case we will select rectangle 2. 
and in the same way on the start delay we'll type 6. Then let's add another reset. So let's click on the plus icon and let's choose text 1. Then on the start delay let's put 6 as well. Ok, perfect. Finally, we need to add like a general reset for the whole composition. So let's click on the plus icon and from the drop down let's choose current scene. Ok, perfect. And over here we will type 6.2. Like that we can give a little bit more of time for the whole assets to restart. Ok, nice. Now we can click on preview and we can see how it works. And there you go, the animation start working. So after 6 seconds the animation will stop. So we can click again and the animation will start again. So this is the end of the video. And if you guys like it please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any comments or questions please put it on the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Bye.